Don't flog him! <clears throat> Think you're smart, huh? Hey, we need that nuclear Double. warhead from Section F. Go get it, would you? Thanks. No, no. Hey, man. William, the twins are kicking again. I think they can sense when you're near. Maybe we can get some time alone? Just you and me? I would like that. Brave face, old man. Keep away. What she needs, you can't provide. Did you see the new kill house set built in the shooting range? I tried it, but my time was like toilet. It feels not the same when targets not shoot back, yes? Meh. You only make excuses for shit bad shooting, Alessandro. Da cazzo. Me? I am musician, no warrior. I believe his time in kill house would be the vero fantastico, no? Yes. He is Satan's good, that guy. Hello to you. How are you, Captain? Why, Captain? After what happened in Section A. Did Boldo tell you about the smell? No, happy. What smell is that? Boldo was in the corridor by the cantina Sad when he but smelled to men. Always wanted to visit. Suppose I never did. Salut. The voice tells me the great killer is falling apart. I'm surprised you returned from my nothing in one piece, huh? Ça va bien, Captain Blaskovitz? Bon. Sure are realistic. Feel like I'm inside the game. Look out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grace needs a nuclear warhead from the stockpile in Section F. Captain, my friend. Hello there. Hello, Captain. Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Grace out.
So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar.
nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. You're a little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Ah, oh, Shimshin. You should really take it easy, Ingele. Don't underestimate manual labor. Mr. Blaskovich clears the mind, makes room for big ideas to move in. I like to stick knife in the side of Nazi's stomach, just slightly to the right above the pelvis. Then, twist knife to destroy their insides. Doesn't feel too good, I can tell you. Like the approach, lady. Now why that place, specifically? I learned this when I was a child, when surgeon had to cut out my appendix. Pain was so sharp, I felt like my eyes would explode. What? Didn't the hospital give you anesthetics or some shit? No, hospital in Muonia. Just barber man with bag full of knives who also was surgeon. After he asks, Ritva, why you don't cry? <laughs> I told him, why cry when someone is saving your life? Yeah, you're a badass motherfucker, Ritva. Yeah. Captain? Yep. Bar. What's up, Hattie? These fucking radiation scars on my belly. It's like a motherfucker lately. Takes all my willpower not to scratch. Well, they got this amazing scientist here. Set, I think it was. Go see if he got a soothing ointment or something. I don't know, Laney. Don't want to bother him with a fucking itch. And that fucking monkey cat, whatever it is, she just freaks the shit out of me. And you thought we had a freak show with Super Smash back in New York. Ooh, remember when he told the story about he and his daddy went looking for space aliens in the desert and ended up nearly dying of thirst and had to be hospitalized because of all the blisters? <laughs> Man, I tried so hard not to laugh. I miss New York sometimes. May have been a radioactive hellhole infested with Nazi pigs. But it was home, you know? At least it's safer here, sister. Every day we stand alive is a victory, you dig? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Peace. Yeah. Pleasure, Captain Blaskowitz. So many new people. Not one of them have come to say hello to me. Am I invisible? Good to see you, Captain.
William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. And the longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, oh, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Sashi, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to Mission Control and get all your ducks in a row. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blaskowitz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? wondering if you would like to do something together later what I don't know mm. recreational activity of some kind listen and listen to me carefully Sigun I've looked through your records lists upon lists of atrocities the Yosemite massacre burning of the Baltimore ghetto Nashville stop I was just following my mother. I am not responsible. I did not commit any of those acts myself. If you don't trust me, then why don't you just kill me right now? <laughs> but you were there. You stood by and watched it all happen. And you did nothing to stop your mother. She would have thought me weak. An embarrassment. I just... What? I just wanted her to be pleased with me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm nauseous now. And I don't know if it's the pregnancy or you. Hello there. You've got a powerful ally. Good grace, Blaskowitz. Good to see your face. How are you? What's going on, Captain? 
The voice tells me the great killer is falling apart. Oh. Are you surprised you yeah, what is the matter, Fergus? Bloody shit, I write in letters all the month. This is a love letter. Hey. No, 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 it's not a fucking love letter. It's a performance review letter for one of the crew members. Hmm. Who? Maria works at the fuel hangar depot. Good last. Okay. So you write like this. Maria, your blue eyes are like the ocean. Shut it, Just Brown eyes, not blue. Oh. You have performed your tasks admirably. And I salute your... passion, spirit. Passion. Then you write, now I would like to admire your blue eyes over some dinner. Right, Max? <laughs> They're brown, you tosser. Yes, yes. The main man. Holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. And we're safer than we've been in life forever. I know, I'm being irrational, Huey, but I can't control it. The feeling of being suffocated. It feels like I can feel the dust clogging up my throat. The heat from the first wave and the screams. The fucking screams, man. Hey, come on, girl. Just breathe.
Ça va bien, Captain Blaskowitz Hello, Captain. Chopper's fat and sassy. Good to see you. Should let Grace know. What's going on? 